guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I am going to be showing you the products that I'm going to be using in the month of March. I know this video is a little late. I actually got super sick over the weekend, so I couldn't film, but I am feeling better and back to myself, so I am excited to sit down and film with you guys. I had this like stomach bug that was going around, and it was just a mess and a half. So I'm so happy that that is over with and I am back to filming. So if you want to see the products that I'm going to be using this month, then just keep watching. All right, to start off with the face, the primer that I pulled out for this month, and it's kind of a newer one, is this Makeup Revolution Onyx Primer. So this is like their black primer. It's gel based. It's definitely interesting. The reason I pulled this out is because I just don't know how I feel about it. I can't decide if I like it. I can't decide if it's really even doing anything on my skin. It does say that it's a primer with a black gel-like texture that blends clear for a blurred and mattified base. I don't know if I see all of that stuff. I think it's a cool concept. Like, I'll give Revolution props when it comes to that. But I just don't know. If you have this primer, let me know how you like it and really how you use it, how you blend it in. Um, I've tried it with a brush. I've tried it with my fingers. I feel like I do like it with my hands or like my fingers more just because I feel like I can really kind of push it into the skin better. But I'm just not sure how I feel about it. So this is still being tested. Now for foundation, I actually only pulled one out to really use this month because I wanted to kind of, again, like the primer, figure out what I thought about it. And it is this Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation from Hard Candy. So I do have the shade Linen, and it's what I have on today, and I do feel like it's a pretty good shade match. I did a get ready with me with this foundation, and I wasn't a huge fan in that video. I just felt like you could really see it on my skin, and it looked like makeup. And so I was just kind of like, eh, not really into it. But then I wore it today, and while I still agree that I can see it on my skin, like I can see that I'm wearing foundation, maybe more so than my other foundations that I have, not all of them, but some of them, the wear time on this, you guys, is crazy, crazy good. Like, I'm actually filming this Wednesday night, so it's like 7.20 at night. I have been working all day, so this is not like a fresh face of makeup by any means, and I feel like my skin doesn't look bad. I did touch up with a little bit of powder before filming, but that's the only touch up I had to do today. I kept looking in the mirror at work, really seeing what I thought about this foundation, and I didn't have to touch up. And I put this on probably like 12 hours ago at the latest. So, I mean, I feel like it's doing a pretty good job of like holding up. The coverage is really good. I would say it's definitely full coverage. You might have to build it a little. Like I have a lot of like acne and kind of acne scarring right here on my cheeks. And so I had to build it up a little bit in those spots. But I do like it. It's just like a thicker formula that I'm still kind of trying to figure out. So I really want to make a huge effort to use this this month to like figure out my opinion on it. I did pull out two different concealers. So I pulled out my uh, Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. I love this stuff so much. It's like full coverage, but it's not super drying. It's just a beautiful formula. I do have the shade Light Beige, and it's actually a really good match for me. Um, I love the coverage of this, and I just love how it wears. So I'm excited to be playing with that. And then I also pulled out my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I did just do a concealer declutter. It was concealer, primers, and powder. So if you have not seen that video, I will link it. But I pulled this out to obviously like kind of go through all my concealers and declutter. And I was like, man, I really love this concealer and I want to use it. It's what I have on today. And it's just such a good everyday concealer. I don't feel like I look overly like sculpted or caked up under the eyes. It's just really beautiful. It gives such a good amount of coverage, but not an over drying concealer by any means. But it's also not hydrating in the sense that it's like th super. <laughs> ah! It's also not hydrating in the sense that it's super goopy. It's um, like in like thick. It's not like that at all. It's definitely like a thinner concealer, but it still has some moisture in there. So I really love it. Now for corrector, I wanted to pull out this one. So my Catrice one that I usually use, I used that one up. And this was the only one I had in my uh, collection. This is the LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer in Peach. I like this. I don't think it's amazing, but I do think it does a pretty good job. I really enjoy the tone of this. I feel like it has a really good like 
peachy kind of tone to it. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Like you see how that's like a little bit of like deeper. It's not super brightening where if you're familiar with the Catrice one that I use, the wake up effect, that one is a little bit more brightening. But this one is definitely more like it's a little bit deeper and it's got a little bit more like really peachness to it. It is a cream based concealer so it's not super thin or waxy or anything like that. It does feel a little thick but I honestly use like the smallest amount. Like I would never use this amount in one like day. I would probably use like this amount. Like I just tap my finger and I tap it right on this um, my dark circles and then I just kind of go in and like sponge it out you know with my little Real Technique sponge. I'll just kind of go like this and then I go in with my concealer. And I do feel like it does a pretty good job of correcting. Um, I do feel like I got it a little too high like right here today and I didn't put concealer there so I felt like I could kind of see some like peachiness in this area. So that's just user error I think. I have to be a little bit more careful but I do like this. Is it my all-time favorite? No but it's really inexpensive and I do think it does the job so you really can't beat it. So to set the under eyes, I have another thing that I am like trying to decide on. So just like the primer and the foundation, I really wanted to figure out what I thought of this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Loose Setting Powder. I, again, could just, I can't really figure it out. I can't decide if it's like blowing my mind or if it's just not doing anything, if I hate it or anything like that. So I just really try and like trying to form an opinion on this. Again, if you have this powder, let me know what you think. I did grab the shade Light. So that's just kind of for reference. Oh, and in the Flower Beauty um, concealer, I do have the shade something. What shade do I have in this? I believe it's Fair. So it's the lightest one that they offer. Now for setting spray, I bought this for my Makeup Revolution video I did, and it is their Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. This stuff is good. I can't decide. I kind of want to try this foundation tomorrow with a different setting spray and see if the wear time is as good because I don't know if it was like the foundation that was wearing really well. I kind of think it was or if it was the setting spray that really locked everything in. I don't know but this is actually really good. It really does a great job of keeping my makeup on throughout the day and I do feel like my like blush, my bronzer, my like everything stayed just like more vibrant throughout the day when I use this. It doesn't like fade as fast so I'm really into this. Now to set the face kind of all over I still I still am just using this Physicians Formula, the Healthy Powder. I kind of just really want to use this stuff up. It's not my all-time favorite powder. I like it in the sense be that it doesn't make me like super dry and matte. It gives me kind of a more like satin finish. So if you have dry skin but you want to use a powder to maybe set the T-zone, I would definitely look into this because I do feel like it offers a really skin-like finish, especially for a powder. So I do have the shade LN3. That's what I wear in the foundation. I'm really hoping that they come out with a concealer because that would be amazing. For blush this month, I pulled out everything from LA Girl that I have. So I've been really into cream cheek products lately. I don't know. I think the whole like color or um, blush bombs, the color drops or whatever they're called from Flower Beauty has like spiraled me into like a cream blush and bronzer like obsession. And so I pulled out my LA Girl Velvet Blush Sticks. I have the one in Velour, which is more of like a coral shade. Let me swatch these for you guys. So that's Velour. I obviously don't wear it that concentrated, although it is me. I do love a good blush. Um, and then Crushed Berry is a beautiful berry tone. Let me make them a little even. There we go. So I love these. I um, What I use with them is my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I will honestly just kind of go like this and paint the brush and then I just stipple it on the cheeks and it lasts throughout the day. It's really beautiful. What I really like about this cream formula is that it's not overly thick and creamy. It's definitely like a thin formula and it's a little bit drier so it doesn't stay really tacky or really um, like shiny on the skin. So I really appreciate that. Now for powder blush, I also pulled out two from LA Girl, so they're just blushing blushes. Jessica Braun was talking about these late recently, and I just was like re-inspired to get mine out. So this is just playful. That's the one I have on today, and it is like a really beautiful, just kind of like pink nude kind of shade. Just nothing like special, but it's really good. It's also matte. And then this one I have is just natural which it's a little bit lighter, a little bit peachier. 
So there's just natural and then there's just playful. So you can kind of see the difference. The shade range on these is amazing. They have so many. I know I can find these at CVS. I can find them at Ulta. Um, you can find the whole collection on LA Girls website. And then also on the Shop Hush app, you can also find these. So I will link them for you guys if you're interested. They're really affordable. They last a long time on the cheeks. They blend so easily. And they're pigmented, but not like overly pigmented where you have to be like super, super careful. But they're definitely a little bit like softer formula, a little bit more powdery and pigmented than um, some other blushes. So I would just say use a light hand and build up as necessary with those. Now for bronzer, I just pulled out one to use and it's the e.l.f. Um, Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sun Kissed. I love this. It was like I tried it, I loved it, I put it away, but then I saw it in my drawer and I was like, I want to use it again. This is so good. I'm wearing it today. It's a little bit more like yellowy gold than um, I kind of naturally get. I usually pull more red toned when I do naturally get tan, but I do still think it's a really pretty bronzer. I think that this kind of tone works on my skin, the like yellowy goldness, when it is this light of a shade. So it's not overly dark and really kind of um, fake looking on my skin tone but it still just looks really beautiful and just golden. So I really have been enjoying this. It's a matte bronzer. The formula is so smooth and buttery and it blends like a dream. I love this. For a highlight, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. I love my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Wait, was that what it's called? No, I'm making that up. My Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. You get three different shades in here. They're all light enough that I can wear all three, which I appreciate. And I honestly kind of like to mix them a lot. I like to use these on my brow bone. I used this one on my brow bone in my inner corner today. Um, I love to use these on my cheeks. They are so potent and just like shimmery, but not in the sense of like chunky shimmer. They are so finely milled and just a soft formula. I used this on my sister's wedding day, which was like two years ago, which probably means this is expired, but whatever. Um, I used it on like all of the bridesmaids, on her, on myself, like everybody was wearing this highlighter palette that day. So it's so beautiful. I just absolutely love it. You need the smallest amount to get a more like natural looking highlight. And if you buff it into the skin, it looks really natural. Or you can use, you know, a heavier hand and a more concentrated brush and really build it up. So really easily manipulated formula and it's just beautiful. I love this palette so much. Okay, so that's it for face. Let's move on to eyes. So for brows this month, I am still going to be trying out the Revolution Brow Definer. So I picked this up again for that video. I grabbed the shade Light Brown. It's a little warm for me, I'm not going to lie. It has a spoolie on one side and then it has the brow pencil on the other. And it's kind of like that um, like teardrop shape. I don't know if you guys can even really see it, but it's not like a flat cut of an angle. It's got more of like a round at the bottom to make a teardrop. Um, and so it's a good shape. I like these kind of pencils. I prefer these more with a slant or like a teardrop shape over those really like fine micro pencils. That's just not the kind of tool that I like to use for my brows. But I will say this is a drier formula. It's not necessarily super dry and unusable. But it's also not as creamy as like the Joa Beauty one I love or the new Milani one that I talked about somewhat recently on my channel or like my e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift that I love that's like two bucks. So if you like a drier pencil, you really might like this. I will probably use it up because it's not terrible, but I don't see myself going out and buying this again. Now to set that, I am still going to be using my Elme Brow Styler. I got this last month through Octoly and I've just been obsessed with it. It's one of those brow gels that has a really tiny little bristle brush so it really just makes it easy to do a quick fill in it kind of make everything just even and smoothed out and look still really natural so I love that and then for eyeshadow primer I'm still going to be using the revolution prime and lock Longwear eyeshadow primer this is just like a big honkin eyeshadow primer I talk about the size of it every single time I talk about it because it just it blows my mind but anyway, you're not actually, and the thing is, you're actually not getting any more product in here than you are in some other eye primers, but it just appears bigger. I don't know. But I really do like this. It's definitely a creamier eye primer, so just a heads up on that. Um, for eyeshadow, I grabbed these. I have been into like singles, cream shadows, just kind of like dipping my toe away from palettes. I don't know, but I saw these in my drawer and I was like, I haven't used those in a long time. These are the LA Color Duotone Eyeshadows. 
So these are so inexpensive. You can find LA Colors at like Dollar General, Family Dollar, on their website. You can find them in a lot of different places. But this one is Last Night. Last, I said that weird, Last Night. And you get a like really gorgeous kind of like pinky taupe. This is the one I'm wearing today. So I have this shade, the pinky taupe shade, all over the lid. And then I blended this one, this like purpley shade, more on the outer corner and into the crease. These are both shimmer shades, but I do feel like they work as like a full look. Um, and then I took this one just a little bit on the outer corner. And I think it made just a really beautiful, simple, cool toned look. So I love these little duos. They are a great formula. Let me just swatch this one for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Like really pigmented, just gorgeous, gorgeous formula. They're not overly powdery. You can't really see that pink shade on my hand too well, but it's there. I promise you. <laughs> it just kind of blends in with my skin tone. But it, their formula is just so nice. It's so blendable. It's not overly powdery or chunky or anything. And then the other one I have is Glow. I have a feeling I might wear this one tomorrow because I really like it. This is like a shimmery bronze. And then this one over here is more of like a satin finish cream. So soft and just buttery and just delicious. Like, look at that. It's so, so gorgeous. I mean, a little powder kick up, but like not a ton by any means. So don't like be freaked out. Really inexpensive and really great formula. And then for palettes, I grabbed this one from Milani. I'm like in a cool tone mood. I don't know why, but I am. So I grabbed the soft and sultry palette out of my collection. I just love this palette so much. It's cool toned, but it's not like too gray blue kind of cool tone. You know what I mean? Like you still get some like more like neutral, slightly warm kind of browns, but overall things go more cool toned. So I'm really into this. And then a palette that I have in my collection, but I hardly use that I just don't know how I feel about it. I can't decide if I love it. I can't decide if I hate it. I can't decide if it's just nothing to me. I don't know. It's the Soft Glam. I feel like I should like this more than I should. Maybe that's it. I feel like I should like this palette more than I do. Because I feel like when it came out, everyone was just obsessed. And then everyone became obsessed with the Sultry palette. So, I don't know. But I just feel like I should like this one more. I don't know. So, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's a gorgeous palette. And I, I feel like when I do, like, a darker look, I really enjoy this palette. Like, when I use the shade Sultry. When I use these, like, really rich browns. I love it. But when I try to do like an everyday, just natural look, I don't really care for it too much. This shade glistening is actually kind of disappointing. I feel like it doesn't transfer on my eyes very well. Anyone else experience that? I use my finger, I use a brush, and I just feel like it can't get on my eyelid. Like, I don't know why. But, I mean, it's pretty. I don't know if this is a regret because it's not a bad palette. I just don't think I'm obsessed with it as much as I should be, if that makes any sense. All right, last but not least, let's talk about lip products. So I just grabbed four that I want to make a conscious effort to use this month. And two of them are my Bare Minerals Gen Nude uh, Matte Lip Colors. I almost said liquid lipstick. And I caught myself because these are not really a liquid lipstick. They are definitely more of like a light mousse type of formula. So my two favorite shades are Smooch, which this is like really light. Like it's like a light lilac-y pink. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with that shade so much. I definitely need to wear a lip liner with this though. Otherwise I do look a little like powdered donut crazy, but it's gorgeous. Um, and then the other shade that I love is Slay. And this shade I actually don't have to wear a lip liner with and I actually wore to work today. Uh, it's like a little bit deeper, a little bit rosier. It kind of matches my sweater actually. So these two shades though are just everything beautiful. Um, and what I love is like smooch especially, it looks beautiful with cool toned eyes and warm toned eyes. It's like the best of both worlds. And then I pulled out just two traditional lipsticks. So this one is from Revolution. This is their Renaissance lipstick in the shade Prime. I showed it in that Re uh, Revolution video I did. I mean, the best like peachy pink nude ever, right? It's so pretty. I love it. And the formula is so good on these. I wish they sold these in store. They are so creamy and like smooth on the lips. They don't like cling to dry patches. They are just really pretty. I like it. 
And then the one I have on is one that I haven't worn lately, but again, I feel like it goes so well with cool toned looks and it's it from Essence and it's their shade Come Naturally. And so it's kind of like a cool toned pink with like a little bit of mauve in there, like a little bit of purple, a little something, something. It comes off definitely more warm on camera than in person. In person, it's way more cool toned. So I don't know. It's probably something to do with my settings that I don't know anything about. But anywho, I just, I can you tell I like love a good pinky nude? Anybody? Right? All right, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me when I'm looking like a little worn from the work day, but I wanted to get this video up with you for you guys and show you guys what I'm using this month, tell you some of my opinions on these products. Um, I hope you liked that this kind of style. I'm trying to not pick as many products to use. I'm really just trying to put products in this video that I want to make an effort to use this month. These aren't the only products that I'll be using every day, obviously. So... I just really want to make sure I'm using these products and I feel like with fewer products I can spend more time kind of chatting about them and like doing little mini reviews for you guys. So I don't know. I hope you liked it. Thank you so so much for watching and for all of your support here on my channel. If you haven't subscribed I would love it if you would and give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video.